So this is our newly installed windshield and they had to cut a little bit of the stuff that I had installed when we first got the van. Let me show you what that looked like and how we fixed it. Up top and down low you can see the Eternabon tape that we installed because there was quite a bit of rust. Um, mostly just I believe related to this gasket on the windshield. This lower gasket here and it, and it goes around the whole windshield is not adhesed in and I think moisture and stuff gets stuck in there and it never really has a chance to dry. So what we did when we first got the van was um, cut this all out, ground down to the metal as much as we could. And put a layer of, we did a little Rust-Oleum, put a layer or two of a Turnabon tape and then sealed the whole thing with Dicor caulk. Now that I have this new windshield in, we're just gonna peel this up, um, take this whole extra gasket off around the whole windshield, and then do a little bit more um, Dicor to seal the whole thing up. So since I did this previously, I learned there's a, a faster way to do it. This thing will actually tear off. I'll show you actually how I'm gonna go about it right now. All you need to do really is get it started. I'm trying not to cut too far, but get it started with a sharp knife. And I'm gonna go over it twice to make sure I've actually perforated the rubber and I can feel it go through right there. Okay, I had to get a little something back there so I could grab onto this. Um, but hopefully you can see what I've done is just cut at the very bottom edge of this, not cutting into the part that wraps around the window, just this extra flap. And then once you get it started, you can pretty much just peel it off. It seems to tear in a straight line. I'm gonna continue going all the way around the windshield and get the whole thing and I'll just have um, this ring. And then you can see in here a little bit where this other rubber gasket ends, and that's where I'm gonna put some more of the Dicor caulk. Here you can see there's already a lot of debris in here, and this is only a couple days out. So make sure to clean this out with compressed air or a vacuum before the next step. Here's the whole thing removed. You can see it's kind of gross and ganky in that gap. I'm going to vacuum it out, clean it good with rubbing alcohol, and then do a whole bunch more caulk. Here I'm going over everything with rubbing alcohol to make sure that there's a clean surface. Okay, so we vacuumed it out, wiped everything really good with um, rubbing alcohol, and what we're using is Dicor Lap Sealant, and it's the non-leveling type because we want it actually to keep its body. We don't want it to run down because we're going to be using it in vertical spaces. I'm going to run a good line of caulk. Uh, I'm going to press it in with my finger, and depending on um, what it looks like in a couple days, I might do a second layer, but for now my goal is just to get one good layer around the whole van. Okay, the first layer is in place. It's not perfect, but you can see we got rid of that large gully gutter thing that was up there. I got a good first layer and I'll see what it looks like. I'll probably hit another little bit tomorrow. This is where we ended up a few weeks after the installation and application. The stuff is kind of yellowing a little bit, the Dicor caulk. And I also, I wanted to put a second layer on, but I ran out because we went through two windshields in a month. And I just didn't have a chance to get more of the decor. So I have a little bit of discoloration, which another layer would have covered. And also, 
the day I put it on was really warm and windy. The 10 mile an hour view is pretty good. It doesn't look too bad. Full disclosure, form over function, it's working. It's watertight. We've been in a bunch of rain recently. Most important, we know the van is protected from further rust. If you found the information in this video helpful, subscribe to our channel. We're always adding new content.